Hey folks, uh, this lesson is least common multiple. It's similar to greatest common factor, just with a little twist to it. So multiples are like uh, 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 3 is 15, and 20, and 25. So multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 5 times, you know, the consecutives. Those are multiples, okay? Factors are what goes into them, okay? All right, so... Again, you guys, this whole uh, chapter I've been uh, bringing up, uh, uh, knowing the multiplication table. And hopefully you're starting to practice that and get better at that. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it'll make your math so much better, easier, faster, um, if you just know this multiplication table. And you can do it. Um, uh, you just got to do it. So, I mean, if you want to be comfortable more comfortable in math okay anyways you guys i'm sorry that'll be the last time i won't do that anymore multiples that are shared by two or more numbers are called common multiples okay well that makes sense and so the least of these is called the least common multiple we'll do some examples of these okay so we can find the least common multiple of two or more numbers uh, by listing multiples of those numbers or using prime factorization. So we'll do both, okay? So here we're going to find the least common multiple, the LCM of 4 and 6, by listing the multiples of these, okay? So here's 4 and 6. So multiples of 4, 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times, uh, I'm sorry, 4 times 3 is 12. So what you can keep doing is just going plus 4, plus 4, 12 plus 4 is 16. And then, you know, all the other multiples of 4. Here's 4 times 5, 4 times 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, now multiples of 6 are all of those. Here's 6 times 1, 6 times 2, 6 times 3, 6 times 4, 6 times. So they do have some common multiples, you guys. They both share I see 12s. They both share, um, what are the 24s? They both share 36s. So let's talk about those. So let's circle all those common factors right there. And so least means smallest. So the smallest of these common multiples is 12. That means that the least common multiple of 4 and 6 is 12. I'm sure you've heard of uh, common denominators. So they uh, least common denominators is desirable, most desirable anyway. So the um, least common multiple is <clears throat> is the the denominator is the least common multiple of the denominators anyways. Um, so let's find the least, and, and this is used in algebra, you guys, in factoring. There's a whole big several months in, in Algebra 1 and Algebra 2 about factoring. And, and well, actually, we have integrated math 1, 2, 3 now, so they're, they're integrated into those. But factoring is a huge unit, and that, um, um, uh, LCMs are, are, are helpful in some of those lessons. So anyways, find the least common multiple of these numbers, listing them. So let's list all the multiples of 3 and the multiples of 8. So 3 times 1, 3 times 2, 3 times 3 is 9 times 4 times 5 times 6 times there's 3 times 7 is 21 3 times 8 3 times 9 Oh, my multiples of 8 sign disappeared. That's no biggie. Okay, and then let's do 8. So um, fo fo hopefully we'll get one of those. So 8 times 1, 8 times 2, 8 times 3, 4, and so on. So which one's the smallest? There they are right there. Now the trick, you guys, is this. Take the bigger number and start listing the bigger number and find out which number the smaller number goes into. And those will be, um, uh, that'll be your least common multiple. So I'm going to list 12 first here, okay? So the LCM, of, I'm sorry, of 3 and 8 is that 24 right there. And sometimes it is just 3 times 8. But remember, when we had the 4 times 6, the multiple was, uh, least common multiple was 12. And 4 times 6 was 24, but there's a smaller number that they both uh, go into. All right, so for 9 and 12, I'm going to do the 12 first, okay? So there's 12 times 1. 9 doesn't go into 12. 12 times 2 is 24. No. 12 times 3, hey, that's it, because 9 goes into 36 four times. So there's my LCM. It's that right there. So that's the smallest multiple that both 9 and 12 is. So I like to do the bigger number first and just start seeing when does the small number go into one of those big numbers. Otherwise, you can keep going and keep going like I did here, and then you, you pass it up. Anyway, so the LCM of 9 and 12 is 36. Okay, and there's a, I kept going, dot, dot, dot. There's other multiples, common multiples that they have. 72 is a common multiple between 9 and 
12, and but the smallest one is 24. All right, let's do the same thing with this. 10 is easy. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And I noticed I didn't even go up to 60, even though 6 goes into 60. 6 also goes into 30 right there. So I can stop right there because this is 6 times 5. So um, the least common multiple of 6 and 10 is 30. Now, 60 is a common multiple. It's just not the smallest one. 30 is the smallest one between those guys. All right, so now let's do the uh, find the LCMs using prime factorization. So we're going to find the prime factorization using factor trees with 16 and 20. I guess I did. Yeah, I did. Okay, so 16 is 2 times 8. Notice I circled that 2. 8 is 2 times 4. And again, 4 is 2 times 2. So 16 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That's a good secret to know, you guys. 16 is 2 to the 4th. 32 is 2 to the 5th. 8 is 2 to the 3rd. Those are good. Okay, let's break this down. So what did I do? I did 4 times 5. Okay, that's prime, and then this is 2 times 2. Okay, so here's 20. 2 times 2 times 5. All right, so now let's uh, let's uh, write these prime factorizations. So I'll write them right here. 16 is going to be 2, 2, 2, 2. 20 is going to be 2, 2, 5, okay? And then what we do with the greatest common fact, I'm sorry, the least common multiple is, um, uh, well, first, let's circle the different factors, okay? So the different factors, I see some 2s and some 5s. And I want to circle the ones that have the most of them. So this one has four twos. This one only has two twos. So I'm going to take the one with four twos. And every factor, we've got to circle every factor. I should have wrote every instead of each. So every factor, I'm going to circle the five also. So then the LCM is the product of those. So two times two times two times two times five. Now, this is 10 right here. I'm going to show you a multiplication trick. 2 times 5 is 10, so let's take away these guys. So 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, so I have 8 times 10 gets us 80. So that's what the LCM is of 16 and 20. Both of those go into 80. That's the smallest number that 16 goes into. That's 16 times 5, and 20 goes into 80 four times. All right, let's keep doing that. Let's try that. Oh, let's let's talk about the different methods because we did GCF with prime factorization um, in the last lesson. So let's uh, talk about what we do with the LCM versus the GCF. Okay, we get the prime factorization like we normally would. So I've already found the prime factorization of 60 and 72. Notice how they have some numbers. Some of them are in common. Some of them aren't, like this 5 is all alone over here. So that would go for the GCF, and then um, and then some have less twos and some have more more threes. So sorry, this one has more more twos and more threes. Okay, so so um, GCF is think of this, you guys. It's kind of backwards. Greatest common factor is least of the common ones only. And then least common multiple is most of every factor that I see. Okay, so least common multiple. Here's 60 and um, uh, 72. So the common ones, which ones are, do we see in both of them? I see some 2s, 3s, and 5s. Here I see some 2s and 3s. So my common ones are 2s and 3s. I take the smallest group of 2s, which is these two 2s, and the smallest group of 3s, which is in the same group. So it's going to be um, uh, those gr that group right there. The GCF is 2 times 2 times 3. So um, 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 is 12. So the GCF of 60 and 72 is 12. That's the greatest common factor. That's the biggest number that they both go into. Okay, LCM. It still deals with the same um, prime factorization. So let's write that right there and think, think most of every factor. Let me go back, you guys. So the most of every factor, I see some 2s and 3s and 5s. I see some 2s and 3s. So every factor is going to be 2, 3, 5, and the most of them that we see. So the most 2s I see come from here. The most 3s I see come from here. And this one has a 5, so that's included also with the LCM. So these 3 2s, these 2 3s, and the 5. So 3 2s, 2 3s, and a 5. Let's see, can I think of any trick right here? I can, you guys. Check this out. I didn't do that here, but watch. I know I know this. Let me get a smaller font right here. I know this is 4 times 9, which is 36. And this is 10 right here. 36 times 10 is 360. 
Okay, so just uh, tricks. So try to like that. They call them compatible numbers. 5 times 2 is 10. When you multiply by 10, it's just add a 0. So since this is 36, 36 is a 0. Anyways, okay. So um, just remember, you guys, greatest common factor is the least of only the ones they have in common. Least common multiple is every factor that you see. And if they share, if some of them have more than the other, then you take the one that has the most of the factors and every factor for least common. Okay, so here, here's three numbers. Find the LCM of 4, 15, and 18. So let's go ahead and write the prime factorizations. I'm not going to do factor trees because 4 is 2 times 2, okay, and 15 is um, uh, 3 times 5, and 18 is 2 times 9, and 9 is 3 times 3, so 2 times 3 times 3. Okay, and then least common multiple is um, uh, most of every factor. I see some twos, I see some threes and fives, and I see some threes. So the most group of twos that I see is this group. So two twos. The most group of threes that I see is this group, three threes, and they don't all share. No, um, sorry guys, sorry. So circle the most of every factor. Sorry, I see some twos, threes, and fives. Sorry, I was thinking greatest common factor. So I'm going to include these two twos, these two threes, and that five. Every factor and the most, okay? So it's going to be the product of all those guys. Okay, let's find 10 again, okay? So here's 10, and then this is 3 times 3, that's 9. 9 times this other 2 is 18. 18 times 10 is 180, okay? So 18 times 10. Okay, um, all right, let's keep going here. So I get 180. So the LCM of those guys is 180. Okay, almost done. So let's find the LCM of these guys. Okay, let's find the prime factorization of those guys. So 2 is just plain old 2. 5 is just plain old 5. And uh, 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. Okay, and then um, uh, over here, did I do that over here yet? I think, maybe. Uh, I didn't. Okay, so um, this is 2 times 3. This is 2 times 5. And this is 2 times 2 times 3. All right, so um, uh, circle the most of every factor. So over here, the most of twos is this two, and I also got to include that five. The most of twos over here, well, they all have one, so I'm going to have one. They all have one three in there, so I'm, oh, not all of them, this one doesn't. But it's going to have one two, one three, and that five right there. Okay, so um, uh, it's going to be, um, uh, yeah, something like that. So, sorry, the biggest group of twos is that group of twos, sorry. And then uh, and then we're going to product them. So, five times two times two times two, and this is going to be three times five times two times two. All right, so when I do that, I get that. So, again, this is four times 10 is 40. Over here, this is six times this 10 right here is 60 right there. So, something like that. All right, I think I got a little bit more here. Yeah, so the LCMs of those are 40 and 60. One more, you guys. So write the set of numbers. Uh, write a set of numbers. I think I did four or five numbers on this that have an LCM of 100. So the, the prime factorization of 100, well, 100 is 10 times 5, or 10 times 10. And each 10 is 2 times 5. So I got another 2 times 5 for both of them. So it's 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. There's 100 right there. Okay, so now um, uh, our set of numbers can only have these factors. Plus, uh, one of these numbers has to have a 2 and a 5 in it. So let's start listing them. So 2 can work. So that could so 2 goes into 100. Okay, 2 times 2 could work um, because I can use this group of 2s. I just can't go 2 times 2 times 2. Or something like that. I did the most group of twos is what I can max out on, and the most group of fives. I could have a five. I don't think I did that. Darn, I didn't. So that could be one. Just think a five could work also, because five goes into a hundred. I didn't include that. It just says write a set. So um, I knew I'd miss one. Two times two times five. Notice I grabbed these two twos and one of these fives. I can do all of them. Two twos and two fives is just a hundred right there. So so all of those will work. Okay, and two and five and five. Whoops, I forgot my multiplication. So all of those will work, including this two right there. So a set of numbers that all have, and don't forget, we could have used it a five also. Um, the LCM of 100 are all those red guys right there. All right, you guys, I hope that lesson makes sense. And we've got a test coming up. I'll try and put a review together for you soon. Take care.